Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Friday, the 9th day of February, the 24th day of Shvat. Here we go. We're continuing in a short little unit here, discussing the Malacha, the work of sewing on Shabbos. You're not allowed to sew on Shabbos. It's one of the 39 prohibited things. And most of you listening would think, don't worry, I don't sew on Shabbos ever. Well, <laughs> there are ramifications of this law of sewing on Shabbos, which do affect you. For example, the question has been asked, it's going to scare you, but um, shoelaces. When you pull your shoelaces tight, you know, and you make those uh, crossover moves and pull, so it's discussed amongst the rabbis, should we consider that a form of sewing? I mean, you're, you're basically stitching together, kind of. It's not thread, but shoelaces are like thick thread, and they're pulling together the two parts of your shoe and making them tight. So rest assured that your tying your shoelaces is fine. Most of the rabbis say it doesn't really resemble sewing. The things are far apart, and it's not close enough in action to the act of sewing. And therefore, you can tie your shoelaces on Shabbos without fear of, uh, of sewing. Now, by the way, don't ever tie a permanent knot on your shoes which would be crazy anyway, but don't do it because then you could be guilty of kosher. You're not allowed to tie a permanent knot on Shabbos. Okay, and now on to temporary sewing. What if you just temporarily pull two things together with a real, real sewing stitch? Since it's temporary, it might not be called sewing. So guess what? That's a machlokas. That's an argument amongst the rabbis. Some consider temporary sewing to be real sewing and prohibited, and some consider it fine. Who cares? Like, why does it matter to you? It matters because of, um, well, I'll show you in just a second. I just want to tell you that the Chazon Ish, uh, great posseik from uh, oh, within the last hundred years, is lenient on temporary um, temporary sewing. And uh, therefore, according to the Chazon Ish, if you wanted to, let's say, put in a safety pin, okay, that could be considered sewing. You're pulling together two pieces of material, let's say, with that safety pin. So the Chazon Ish says as long as it's temporary, because he allows temporary, then you're, in other words, you're pulling that safety pin out within the day. So he would consider it okay to use a safety pin if it's temporary. Rav Moshe was more lenient and said, a uh, safety pin is not tofer at all. It's, you, you can always use a safety pin, and it's not considered sewing at all. That is our custom, you'll be happy to know. So the use of safety pins um, are totally allowed. This would be important because if you're about to step out on Shabbos morning and you notice the hem of your pants or your skirt um, is down or hanging down a little bit and you want to just pop a safety pin in for it, according to Ramosha, and that is our custom, you are allowed to pop in that safety pin um, and that would make it allowed. The reason that Ramosha allows this is because he says pins are not really acting like sewing, they're more acting like a button. They're made to open and close. And now it is true that a safety pin could hold for a long, long time, but so could a button. If you didn't pop the button, the button could keep your jacket closed. If you didn't need to get out of that jacket, it could stay like that for months. So it's, but they're meant to open and close, meant to open and close, and therefore buttons, buttons and buttonholes are okay, and safety pins and safety pin latches are totally okay, according to Ramosha. So go ahead and fix that hem with a safety pin. Now, if you want to just be a little extra careful, because remember there was the Chazonish's opinion that said it's only allowed if it's temporary. So in deference to that opinion, we don't want to uh, you know avoid that opinion too. So some people recommend that you use a large safety pin instead of a small one. The reason is because the small one is so unnoticeable that you're apt to leave it there for months, and that's permanent. And Rev, uh, the Chazonish didn't allow permanent. Therefore. It's better when making one of those little safety pin repairs on Shabbos to use a big safety pin, which will probably be taken out, and it's not so permanent. Straight pins, straight pins to stick through things to keep them together on Shabbos, that's totally allowed, and the reason is because since it's so straight and pokey, we don't expect you to leave it in there for a long time. It's not permanent, and therefore straight pins can be used to attach things together on Shabbos. Thanks for logging on. And log on again after Shabbos for more. Have a great Shabbos. Bye-bye.